Shelly Kelly and Carpet Confidential. Welcome to my kitchen in Solana Beach, California, where we are doing holiday baking. And you know that I love my holiday baking. Okay, so today I have for you a rum apple tart with apple cream. This is gluten-free, no added sugar. It is simple, it is elegant, and it is delicious. Now, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to my channel because all season long, I'm gonna bring you healthier option, holiday baking, and amazing 20-minute in and out workouts. The link to the recipe is down below the video description, but other than that, let's wash our hands, get it in the kitchen, and let's make an apple tart. I have started off to make our rum apple tart with almond cream. I have started preheating my oven to 400 degrees. That's the whirring that you hear in the background. And I've already made and have let cool a gluten-free pie crust. Now two things, you can either make your pie crust from scratch, which is what I did today because I was just feeling extra energetic, or of course you can always buy your pre-made gluten-free crust if you want a smart shortcut, it's totally up to you. All right, we're gonna start with one cup of ground almonds. I just took raw almonds, I put it in this little mini KitchenAid food processor, and I gave it a quick whir to give me the almonds. And now to this, I'm just going to add a half a cup of sugar substitute. Now I use Aerobol, this is what it looks like, and I'll put the link in the recipe which is down below the video description for you. It's on Amazon, it's super easy. But this is a sugar substitute. Uh, it's a sugar alcohol, which means it's not gonna spike your blood sugar the way that normal sugar does, which basically causes you to gain weight and insulin spikes and all that, not good. All right, so half a cup of sugar substitute. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of gluten-free flour. And again, this is a combination of coconut flour and almond flour. I'm going to use a little pinch of salt. Pinch! I'm going to give it a quick stir. And then I'm going to set it aside. All right? Now, I'm going to grab a larger bowl. Stand by. All right. So, in this larger bowl, we're going to add four tablespoons of butter. Okay? You can use butter or coconut oil. I mean, honestly, uh, either one is totally fine. Of course, this is a treat. It has calories, it has fat. This is just a healthier option for the holidays, right? In other words, it doesn't have the sugar and the gluten and all that yucky stuff in it. But of course, it, it does have calories, so this isn't something that's figure friendly, just FYI. All right, so we're gonna do four tablespoons of butter. We're going to whip this until it's just kind of nice and creamy. This is my new blender. Okay, then we're going to add our almond mixture to the butter. And again, this is just really easy. It's a very simple recipe, uh, but I think it's it's just elegant and a different, um, something different than an apple pie. We're gonna give that a quick mix. We're gonna mix it until it's kind of all incorporated. I'm a messy cook, I know. All right, and then we're just going to add in two eggs, one at a time, all right? So we're gonna add, there's one egg, and you're gonna give that a quick mix. Second egg. eggs and now we're just going to add in our rum now here's the deal you can add real rum which I have no problem with we just didn't happen to have any in the house today or you can add a teaspoon and a half of rum extract either way it's totally up to you so if you're going to use regular rum you know the good stuff you're going to use a full tablespoon if you're going to use rum extract we're just going to use a teaspoon and a half so there's one teaspoon and there's about a half 
and this just gives it a nice little beautiful, I think kind of a little more of a sophisticated, elegant undertone. You know, rum sophisticated, right? Give it a quick stir. And that's it, that's the filling. All right, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the bottom of my pie shell that has been cooling. So let me grab that. That's good. Okay, so this is the pie shell that I made. I made this um, from scratch because I was just in the mood today. And it's been cooling and I have it in a nine inch tart pan that has the releasable bottom. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to spread the almond cream on the bottom. And this just gives it a nice little extra flavor. And then all we're going to do is we're going to layer three apples that I have peeled, cored, and sliced about an eighth of an inch thin. And we're just gonna layer them nice and pretty I mean, I'm not really an artist, so this is going to look very rustic, and rustic is what I call something when when it's not perfect, which usually I'm kind of a messy cook and I'm not that artistic, so it usually doesn't look, um, shall we say, food magazine ready, but it will taste good. <laughs> it will taste good. I do my best. I do my best. I try. All right, but you know, you kind of got to know your lane, and I know my lane. My lane isn't making things look super artistic and pretty. <laughs> I mean, call a spade a spade, right? Whatever. All right, now we're just gonna grab our apples. Okay, that didn't turn out that badly. That's kind of pretty, don't you think? for me. <laughs> it's, it's nice for what I do. All right, now all we're going to do is we're going to brush this with a little bit of butter. Now the top. All right, so that's good. And then I just used this um, sugar substitute brown sugar. It's by Swerve. I like, I like that particular brand. And we're just going to uh, sprinkle it very lightly over the top. This just gives it a nice little finish, a nice little caramely look to it and just a little essence of sweet on the top. It just finishes the dish nicely. Okay, all right, there we go. That's all nice and pretty. We're just gonna let this bake for an hour, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like.